Today we are going to talk about the state of the art airports, massive aircraft purchase deals, and how Indian aviation has entered a golden era. In a historic deal, Tata Sons Red Air India has placed a massive order of 470 Boeing and Airbus aircraft last month to meet the sudden surge in aviation demand in the country. This move is a significant one, as the domestic market is also projected to increase multifold in the near future. The Indian government's Uran, or Ure Desh Ka Aam Nagrik scheme, has proven highly successful in attracting and adding the country's middle class to air transportation. The role of India's largest carrier, Indigo, along with other domestic private players like SpiceJet, cannot be understated for they have made air travel accessible and affordable. The Noida International Airport, in Delhi's satellite city, is expected to be operational by 2024. With the initial potential of catering up to 12 million people annually and the expansion potential of 60 million to 120 million passengers over a period next 30 years, the airport is set to be a game-changer for the Indian aviation sector. The Indian aviation sector is projected to tread parallel to Indian economic growth in general, which is well-placed to grow fastest amongst the major global economies in the next one decade. The aviation sector will be a significant contributor to the country's economy, and this has led to the development of state-of-the-art airports throughout the country. Recently, the Kempegoda International Airport KI, in Bangalore has been awarded the best airport in the country in the 35 to 50 million passengers per annum category. The airport has undergone significant upgrades and is now equipped with the latest technology, including a contactless journey experience, to provide travelers with a hassle-free experience. Other airports are also not far behind. Hyderabad's Rajiv Gandhi International Airport is equipped with the latest technology, including facial recognition systems, making it one of the most advanced airports in the country. The Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj International Airport in Mumbai is also undergoing significant upgrades, including a new terminal building that will be able to handle 40 million passengers per annum. Overall, the Indian aviation sector is experiencing a significant boom, and it's not just limited to the airports. The development of smaller regional airports throughout the country has also led to a rise in air travel. With the government's push towards regional connectivity and the introduction of smaller aircraft that can land on smaller runways, air travel is set to become more accessible for the common man. Indian aviation sector is experiencing a golden era with the development of state-of-the-art airports, massive aircraft purchase deals, and the government's push towards regional connectivity. As the Indian economy grows, the aviation sector is projected to keep pace, making it one of the most significant contributors to the country's economy. We will keep you updated. Subscribe to Goodgov Mail and stay tuned.